On the morning of Sunday, September 12th, approximately 100 runners and walkers arrived at the Pollyann Trail near the Wildwood Amphitheater for the start of the 25th running of Orion Township's Dragon Dash 5K. It was a warm, muggy morning as participants gathered at the starting line, and as the horn sounded, the race got off to a rocky start. participants are great. They're out on the course. They just left. They're having a great time. This is a wonderful course. This is my favorite course. Um, it's all Pollyann Trail. Starts and ends here at Wildwood. It's all flat. It's uh, in great shape. We haven't had any rain lately. We're in good shape. Yes, the mosquitoes are horrible this morning. And what are they competing for? What are the glory and the fame, of course. That's why they're out there running. No, it's all about getting outdoors with your family, uh, staying fit, staying healthy. Um, they, we do have some beautiful medals that we are passing out and some earbuds and some other assorted uh, Dragon Dash swag. In 2020, the race was moved from May to September with the start-finish line moved to its current location. Participants headed north on the Pollyann Trail toward the Orient Center before turning around and coming back to the finish line. Finishing first overall was 40-year-old Eric Lohr of Lake Orion, who finished with a time of 1653.4. The first female to cross the finish line was Misty Pollock, also from Lake Orion. Misty finished with a time of 2251.7. Everyone who crossed the finish line received a medal for participating in the 2021 Dragon Dash. Thanks to sponsors and entry fees, the Dragon Dash acts as a fundraiser for Orion Township Parks and Rec. It does. Any uh, registration fees that they, obviously we got to cover our costs and then after that it goes back into the parks. If you really want to challenge yourself, be sure to register for Orion Township's Snow Dash 5K, scheduled to take place on Sunday, December 19th. For more information, visit orionparks.com. In Orion Township, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.